Abigail's here. My ranch. Pretty well sit up, set up. Spend some time with Abigail and Jack. Hey, Charles. You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners? No. Seems quiet. We'll talk to Jack since he's out here. Rufus? My pet Rufus? Oh. All right, Good Rufus. boy. There's shiny eyes, boy. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Oh boy. Send this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But, if you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No, I'd like to fish. Oh, yeah, you'd like to fish. It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. When do we have to walk to a river? Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes, I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. Look, I could take a it's shot at those deer right going. there. We have food. Just Longhorn. Land and light. But to me, it's... It's... This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. <laughs> that dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a Good old I Uncle got Arthur. Life. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him. Job, boy. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... 
I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's going to show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Maybe the Skinner's got Rufus. That would be bad. See, Jack, I'm not gonna swallow it. What do you think I'm doing here? Rufus, no. Keep going. Ooh. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Oh, a Rufus. Abigail. Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes. You just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But. But the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Oh, poor Rufus. So sad for him. Dog make it? Hey, we have a sheep here. I hadn't noticed them. Good sheep. Go speak to Abigail. Hey, son. You doing okay? Dogs get bit sometimes. I'll get tougher, sir. Life can be real nasty, son. Worst things are gonna happen, you know. The dog. Where is he? Don't tell me he's dead because. I will cry myself to sleep tonight. Come here, kid. Oh, is he under the table? Are you happy? I think so. And I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! <laughs> You're alive. John, it's Sadie Adler. Oh, <laughs> she's here. I've... Something I've... serious I've... is going on. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking 
Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. <laughs> yeah, when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. Wow, That's Abigail. Like, I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. You haven't buried me once. Legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Go for Micah, Sadie. Screw this business guy. I don't care. There you are. Get your horse and let's go. I'll go. Have to. Forgive me. What? Get on your horse. Now you're gonna act all prissy? Come on. Let's go, Ab 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 Abigail. Sadie. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. He must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh my! Ah. I never took you for a romantic. No. Yeah. Uh, we here? Me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, n not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Good morning. Morning. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Oh. Like a so, Sadie. Coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. <laughs> here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. City man is come out camping in Skinner territory. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's you get down. This, this looks looks like a bear or something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Oh, blood. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. 
If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him All the blood? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Okay. 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 I think I got it. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. your body in there Sadie. This is no bear. Crap. Ugh, well, ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fellow. Ooh. Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Two shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Oh no. I think he's gone. <laughs> Fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Sir Will, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Ooh, that yeah. bears in has some havoc. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash. Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, 
Uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner? Are just children. Get us! If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Certainly silly, you're trying to face out Sadie. Old business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about it? Oh yeah. All that back at your ranch enough. If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties? For transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things, still mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. Here, put him down. Did he pass out still? Cole, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> Let's go. Who get a haircut? Or a shave? That's a slow. Oh, it's further down. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? So, what do you need? Mighty fine if I do say so. Thank you. Ooh, a nice shortcut for now. Please tell your friends about us. Thank you, Mister. Don't wash Here. it for a day or two. Hello, there. sir. We're off. Quick, come on! Full belly and empty dick. Oh, there you are. Howdy, friend. Look at Howdy. God damn it! <laughs> John, calm down. Jesus Christ. We're going now. We have another hour to go quest. Okay, it's back to Breacher's Hope. Breacher's Hope. Breacher's Hope.
Hey, fellow. Ah, oh, it's my friend. Apothecary. Oh, hello there, friend. Uh, do you have a minute? I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Sure. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, good, good. The name's William, by the way. I need to collect a big batch of this current here. You'll find the fruits hanging from bushes. It doesn't thrive near water, so I wouldn't waste your time looking there. Okay, let's see if I can find some for you, friend. Saddle. Must be it. Golden flower. Oh no, prairie puppy. Guess it wasn't be golden. It'd be a bush, no? He said something about it being in bush. Yeah. There we go. have a good look at this. Hmm, yeah, this is perfect. This will make a fine meal for my horse, uh, if I don't keep it all for myself. When I drink a tonic from these currents, it's like the clouds fall away. I can focus on anything. You have earned something for all your help, this tonic. Thank you. This special elixir will set you right. No matter your wrong, is all the power the natural world can offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. See you, friend. Nice to meet you, William. I wanted to check out some smoke back here, but I think it either his or it turned off the smoke, the fire. Whoa. Oh, I think it was his for sure, because I saw it behind my property too. Okay, let's go. Come on, Rachel. Station, okay. Be quiet. No, you be quiet. Well, I'm having a moment of repose. Well, you should be working. Oh, I, I've done my work. I'll tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful around here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? 
He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? Oh, Mr. Getty's son. It's the Getty's boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are! Tell your mom, Pa, we're very touched! Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever. Since you left? A long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. You wanna drive, Abigail? <laughs> I know I'm not that lucky. I'm glad that I really enjoy Can driving. You, Red Dead Redemption, not so much. A hassle sometimes. <laughs> and now to Blackwater. Where we go? Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. Sure. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. Are we decent now? I guess. Well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. Ouch. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat uncle. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay then. Portrait it is. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of 
funny. <laughs> a different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, okay. our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite. Yeah, so we do that. But you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This At is the tavern. Mm. This is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. Going for Paris at midnight. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. How's this? Bravo! <laughs> now, Very romantic. give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's Not such a bully. Nice <laughs> oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a post. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. Such a bully. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, go. come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. Oh, yes, little lady. The age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Come on in. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. 
Two hey, tickets, friend. please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. I'm just here to sell the tickets. Thank you again. Come on in. Oh, this will be a Miss quick you. show. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. <sighs> You're a silly man, John Marston. <laughs> what, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought he was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me. Look at the sky. The water. Okay, I'm looking. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No. I mean, proper, in front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't, but now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. She looks ugly when she's sleeping. Looks like someone beat her up. <laughs> <laughs> 